Hello. I see here. Terraria. In the last part, we actually beat two mech bosses after beating Queen Slime and getting a first win drop of the, uh, oh, what's it called? Blade Staff. So that was cool. Still need to beat Destroyer, which it turns out is substantially harder when you aren't allowed to use swords, Nimbus Rod, or Holy Arrows. <laughs> How many minion slots do I have now? I guess also, what was the difference in defense? Go from 39 to 46, okay. Plus, of course, there's a defensive passive ability. Let's see. Potion stocks are looking pretty fine. I do notice there's no life force in here, but... I'm just gonna look around for more life fruit. Maybe get more bait, too. Kind of want my, uh, power glove back on. <laughs> This whip having the speed increase as it hits things, it's just very convenient to have auto swing. I don't happen to have a Nazar with me. Should have maybe brought one. Poison lasts forever. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. There was one more grubby down there for some reason. It appears every one of my summons has gotten stuck. That'll happen. I guess at what point do I actually use a Splunker Potion? I kind of wanted to like get down a little first. Oh, hey, take that. Also take this. hit me for 54 damage? Seems like more damage than should be allowed. I guess they must get a hard mode upgrade. Or something else hit me that I didn't see, like a stinger from a projectile enemy. Assuming I actually have one. Uh, hmm. I'm out of Splunker potions. <laughs> oh no, there they are. Uh, just missed seeing them at first. I 
Hello! Ah, you're snowboarding. Okay. Enjoy. I'm just looking for life fruit right now to prepare for Destroyer. Who's apparently actually the hardest mech boss when you don't have Nimbus Rod. Or holy arrows. Or swords. Or, you know, anything that does really good damage against multiple segments. We've never really snowboarded. Okay, same. Never snowboarded at all. Sorry, Calcum. Do you still need some adamantite at some point? Or is it titanium? I haven't made my forge yet. So if I get the last mech boss down and start mining glorified, I'll just be sad. Because I can't refine it. Take the torches, I guess. <laughs> you wish me all the life fruit luck? Thanks. Just a boomstick. Oh, hey, Vizor, that I think I called the Nazar earlier. Because I don't ever get those two items right. Uh... That, I guess? I don't really care about being knocked back right now. Oh, no modifier. Well probably still good to equip. I should get my real one from base next time I'm there, though. So I should quick stack my gold every so often. Somewhere I died. Presumably to Queen Bee. Back when Queen Bee was a relevant boss. Take some lead. keep going down, I at least might find adamantite, even if I don't find life fruit. <laughs> or titanium. I literally forget which this world has. I don't figuratively forget it, yes. Uh, <laughs> not that I'm sure what that would mean. Okay, let's just refresh our... Duration on that. Where's Chester? Okay, there. Got the money quick stacked. Water chest down there. Yeah. 
kind of want the gravitation potion in case that ends up being involved in my Moon Lord strategy. Uh, so let's let's just void bag and deposit all. And loot all. Remove the chest. Actually, fully looting a chest for once. Wait, this is all dirt. Or mud. Dirt like substance. Oh, wait, no, it's not. There's stone. I don't know why I'm even, like, checking the ivy chests. It's not like I'll find good hard mode loot in there. Another feral claws. I can't remember if there are two ways to build the, um,. The feral claws into different gloves. Am I hitting with my whip at all? Maybe not. What is that ore, by the way? Am I just like ignoring titanium this whole time? Because. Uh, oh, that must be chlorophyte, but I can't tell what things are when I have a, you know, a Splunker potion going. Okay, and that's Oricalcum. <laughs> Guess I'm mining it for some reason. Can sell the bars. dug all the way over to it. What else was I gonna do? Nothing of interest. to the left. Oh, no. I'm going to use it to the right. I thought Medusa was a marble biome enemy. edge of the by er, yeah, edge of the jungle considering all the, uh, <laughs> um, wait a minute. Um, yeah, all the stone and stuff. So we found titanium. That's definitely this world's metal for the third one. So I do notice the Splunker has worn off. I just want to get somewhere slightly new first before I turn it back on. Yeah, maybe I should just go farm Souls of Night. Let more fruit spawn, get ready for Destroyer. 
Maybe I should just fight Destroyer? I might have the... ...items to summon him now anyway. Oh wait, those are my own summons. Look around for one more Splunker Potion and or death, though. Make more titanium. So at least we're getting that. Definitely have enough for the forge now. It only takes like 30. Additional bars could be sold. I don't think there's anything I want to make out of them at this point. I already have hallowed bars. I don't think I want to collect enough to make a pick before I defeat the destroyer and just make the whatever the hallowed pick is called. Taking somewhere for the water to go before I release the water. a house has no statue. I feel like the jungle houses are more likely to have statues in them. I'm not sure if that's true at all. Yeah, I still haven't found a heart statue in this file. Statue. Also, could get a loom if I wanted a loom. we can find one life fruit before I go challenge another boss, right? <laughs> Just one? Mapping out a lot of the jungle might also help me 
find where I want to Plantera Arena eventually. Crystals. Take those. Oh, my splunker wore off again. I guess. Time statue. Oh, and I'm dead. summon running back and forth I haven't actually had to sort anything into anywhere before emptying the void bag at least just sell the trident I'm pretty sure I have an adhesive bandage just sell the nature's gifts robot hat precise I think I have better somewhere hard <laughs> okay Debatably better. Anyway, it won't help very much against Destroyer. I did put one away, right? Oh, there's the hard one that just still exists. Wouldn't mind holding on to another band of regen. I, guess I say another, but that's actually just my only band of regen. Also, it can go there. Just sell the water chest. Oh, did I have adhesive bandages somewhere? Yeah, I have one. I should actually see if any of those combine together. Where's- oh, there's my- sure. Um... I 
I have a lot of megaphones. Oh, hey. The plan? Armor bracing. We're, I don't know how close to uh, the shield. Not very close, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that even came out as warding. Wait. I have some of my resistance accessories here. Medicated bandage, counter curse mantra. Am I really just like a blindfold short? Let's see, wait, silence was on one of these. Yeah, I can sell my megaphones. Forge. Oh, the guide's still on the edge of the world, isn't he? You're late. Such progress. Not sure I actually made any progress so far this stream besides collecting some bait, <laughs> but I did go through my stuff and noticed that I have a lot of an Ankh shield. <laughs> Also looked around the jungle, mapped some more of it, but didn't find any life fruit. Oh, and I guess I picked up some titanium ore. That was actual progress. Got the forge. Uh, move the cobwebs somewhere. Oh, I had more bands of regen. Not sure how many of those I need, but it's probably not three. What do I have a detonator for? <laughs> ah, I do not have enough souls of night to even challenge destroyer. Maybe I should farm some of those. Dark mummy and corrupt slime good for blindfold? Okay, I knew it dropped from some kind of mummy. Specifically dark ones, though. That's kind of annoying. Guess I could turn biome spread on after grabbing some corrupt blocks. Let's see, mummies are underground, though. I might already have... No, wait. Hallow went left. Where's my underground corruption? I just go down from here. Huh. Wait. Mummies are surface desert. Actually, I think they're just anywhere desert. So yeah, let's grab some blocks and get the desert corrupting in case I actually do want to try to farm that blindfold. And then while the desert's corrupting, farm some souls. pylon I could have gone to, didn't I? It's like, ice biome might have been closer. Actually, it's kind of debatable, isn't it? So what am I doing? Let's go place the blocks. A key part of letting the desert corrupt while you farm the souls is to not farm the souls before you go to the desert. <laughs> is, do I want my surface desert corrupted though? Probably not, because I have NPCs. Although at the same time, we can probably do it to the left part of the desert, and I don't want to fight underground desert enemies. 
Desert's pretty wide. It'll be fine. qualify for a steampunker now, shouldn't I? I've killed a mech boss. I should probably build more houses at some point. If this goes wrong, we just contaminate it back into regular desert. Actually, maybe that's how I should be corrupting it. Well, that's, like, expensive. And... We're not really cheating this playthrough. At least not besides the pillar fragments. <laughs> I don't want to do pillars more than once. I think I said that first stream. I'm allowed to duplicate pillar fragments. Also wearing banners. Spread is on now, yes. That was the intent. Gonna just go farm some souls a night while the desert finishes corrupting. Oh, just wanted to timestamp it. Gotcha. Nine thirty-three my time. Corruption begins spreading again. <laughs> oh, that's a meteor. Where's my actual path down? It's this one. Oh, this isn't where the actual stripe hit. It's just still part of this biome. So it's not very wide. Probably just make a bunch of places for stuff to spawn horizontally within this narrow area though and get a few souls. But there must be somewhere better I had for farming them. Right? Maybe it was just... Oh, yeah, I think it was just in the underworld. Yeah. For a second, I thought I stood on the water. I was like, I don't think I had water walking right now. Need open space remains to be effective. Yeah, I'm just gonna abandon this area and head to the underworld. We can dig up from the underworld once we find where the corruption is. Oh wait, it's here. This was the farming space. All right, I've died to that trap.
though. The armor effect triggering on the lava. All right, could technically summon the destroyer now. At least I have enough souls. But it might take multiple tries. But also, if it doesn't take multiple tries, what other uses do I have for Souls of Night? Still, I'm, I'm here. I don't want to have to come back. Slime blow. Air corrupt. Didn't see it. He may have fell in despawn, sure. That's a lot of titanium down there. enough lava to take damage there. Because of course there is. Alright, yeah. I don't think I can actually fight them, can I? I was like, oh, a bunch of dudes I can whip all at the same time. Yeah, I can't tank that. Imagine pressing two, but... Oh, right. I get what you're implying. The fact that summoners can summon. to resummon the same minion, so if I actually want to get them all over there, I have to dismiss them. Check on desert, it spreads fast pre plant area. Alright. Zombie. 
Those are werewolves, okay. I should probably make it day if I want to check what type of mummy spawns around here. Oop, that's not time of day. Well, we had a corruptor to spawn. Oh, right, yeah. You're right. Turn off is spread. Just make the top layer corrupt sand manually. Because actually, it's probably easiest just to go across hitting everything. Put a layer on top. Oh, uh, well, we're done. <laughs> Never mind on the setting up the biome, we have a blindfold. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, charm. No, I just masked over it to make sure it said disabled. Oh, shield. And it came out as armored. Where do I put it? Uh, maybe over the balloon. I think the balloon's done its job. I'll just make one for now. All right, I was gonna sell the rune stuff. Grab life fruits? I could take another look. That's kind of what I was doing at the start of the stream and I didn't find any. But yeah, it's been another 15 minutes. <laughs> if I'm gonna do that though, I am gonna put all this stuff back. banner would actually go well around here. Oh, except there's already one. <laughs> just, just take this. Find somewhere for the werewolf banner. Okay. One more look at the jungle, though. I don't know if werewolves can even spawn in the jungle. Wait, it went the wrong way. You were late today because you were doing more with the Zelda 1 tracker. Uh, again, I, I'm having trouble imagining what feature you'd add. But I believe that you've come up with something. <laughs> oh hey, there's a life fruit. Just needed you to be here. Um. Yum, as I almost die. Uh, 
I was distracted by more important things than survival. Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, we can head back to the jungle again. Turns out losing all of your hit points to a spider? Uh, not the ideal plan. Oh yeah, I remember that. I don't know if I saw it live or like later. Yeah, they're really easy to just not see. And they deal a lot of damage. Whatever, at least I have plenty of Splunker potions. Turtle shell. For if I want to wear turtle armor as a summoner. Hey, look, above you. What? Oh, there was fruit? Crystal too. Some alternative universe, Alt Lorgon is going life vegetables. Yuck. Sounds right. Yum. It is important to eat your vegetables, though. Unless in that universe they decrease your max health by five and are just meant for a challenge. But in that case, just don't use the life crystals. <laughs> Which uh, clearly would also not be reversed. Yeah, I, I think my, my situation doesn't actually make any sense. Vegetables are good unless they aren't. appears to no longer be jungle. There's another. Oh, void bag. I deal with this moss hornet and bat before I eat the fruit. Yum.
I guess I may have only left the jungle not too long ago, but it's not like I was specifically in this part not too long ago. There's another one. Yum. Quite a few tries to hit that grubby, huh? Oh, let's maybe move away from that before getting out another splunker. Cross necklace. Also, a lot of money. What is the cross necklace combined with? I actually thought it was part of the Ankh shield, but clearly not, because I have an Ankh shield, and I didn't use a cross necklace on it. Depth meter. I've been wanting one of those. Oops. <laughs> Accidentally alt-tabbed instead of hitting escape. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, didn't reach quite high enough for the escape key. <laughs> Not sure why I was holding alt exactly. Oh, because I favorited an item and I was just still holding it. Star Veil. Okay, that's what you use it for. Thanks. Oh. Yum. So let's dig down more instead of tracing paths I've been in before. The hive here. Traveling merchant I like didn't even notice. See, I'm about to be able to upgrade the glove, I think, once I can get a uh Well, once I have the souls from the destroyer. I think is what I'm missing. To get the uh, emblem. I have a spare melee emblem I've been holding on to.
two water chests in a small area in the jungle, huh? Just taking the money. <laughs> jungle. Not going to find much life fruit there. Plus 40 health? Is that how much I've gotten? Yeah, it should help versus boss. You're right. Oh. First... Quick stack to Chester. Okay, that didn't actually get rid of anything. Yum. Got a Yellitz. Oh, did my thing wear off again? Alright, let's head back and try the fight after dealing with inventory stuff. I never placed the Moss Hornet banner anywhere. I guess I kind of want it to go wherever my Plantera Arena is going to go. Actually. Just looking around during the rain could be a good way to actually get more worms for bait, possibly. It's another Abigail's flower. So I have a fairly good stock of grubbies now. Oh, uh, water leaf though. If any of those exist. planted back here. What is this chest? Right. Thirty three grubbies. Oh, they only have fifteen percent bait power, though. See, so yeah, maybe some worms would be good if I felt like getting them because you can make enchanted worms and those have actually good bait power of course your enchanted nightcrawler whatever the name is I want to fight a boss though
gonna end the rain. Gonna restart the night. No, oh, actually, wait, we're not quite ready. I wanted just a platform of solid blocks to uh, prevent the main boss from shooting me while I'm up here. Not gonna do a whole box and like, you know, brought a discord around or anything, but just something for a little protection. All right, restart buffs again, restart night again, even though I didn't spend very much time at all. into a pro. Alright, this whip and this armor. Plus I guess I actually have an on shield. Things seem to be going pretty well. Plus the summon is new compared to the last time I fought the destroyer as well. problem there was I ran into the normal enemy. Don't want that hurt yet. I'm not even fighting in range of the Bast statue, am I? track of where the head was. Just a few more seconds until potion cooldown, though. It does seem like I'm pretty ahead of schedule on dealing damage before the night ends. Oh, you actually can make it all the way up here. It does feel though like he moves at least slower when he doesn't have solid blocks. Although I had speculated, I think, last week that he might be able to move through off-camera blocks as well. Which is why he seems to be able to get up to this height when he's aiming for me when I'm up here. But struggles to get up to the mid-layer when I'm actually on the mid-layer.
Just had to, you know, beat the other mech bosses first. <laughs> You're not sure if he moves through off-camera, or if he, his reach energy is a function of his distance from you, so when you're farther, he tries harder. Yeah, that would also make sense. Alright, so let's get a pick. That's the very most important thing. Uh, that's gold. Uh, <laughs> Pickaxe axe. Are you a better axe? No, you don't have more axe power than Lucy. I think I don't need to keep carrying around Lucy the axe, though. Thank you for your service. Oh, you're claustrophobic. Well, uh... Mechanical cart is clearly the most important thing. Alright, I should have said the most important thing that takes resources that I might want to use elsewhere. So I wanted to make sure I made it first, to make sure I didn't, like, spend all my souls or something. Be minecart, huh? That's what I was using? Fair enough. Oh, it did quick stack. Okay. Let's see, and then... I need to find my warrior emblem. I almost called it a melee emblem. What a mistake that would have been. Uh, I do have enough of all the souls, right? Maybe I spent too many souls of sight to actually make the, uh, what is it called? Destroyer emblem? Avenger emblem? Might need to defeat the twins again. Anyway, trying this without the chest open so that I, uh... Can see more stuff. See, so yeah, I believe to upgrade the power glove, I need a... Whatever the emblem is that you make out of the souls, plus a... Uh, emblem. And then it's like... Some sort of fire stone thing is next after that. Anyway. Um, let's wonder why there were recall potions in there. And just remember it's because this was my first chest in the game, so I threw stuff in there. <laughs> it's not hardcore, we just mirror. Recall potions aren't gonna get used. <laughs> Oh, right, Lucy the Axe was over there. And I said, too bad. You are getting put in a box. I guess before I fight the twins, I might as well get chlorified armor, right? <laughs> now that the chlorophyte can be mined. I'm actually a little still afraid of the twins, even though I probably shouldn't be. Just because over the course of all my playthroughs, I've died to the twins so many times. Well, that's probably because I often just, like, try to do them first. Because I have Cthulhu's first in pre-hard mode. Turns out Destroyer first is always correct, except in Summoner playthroughs. <laughs> uh, also, I should drink a Splunker Potion. I see there's Chlorophyte in there, but it's only four, and I don't feel like digging all the way to it. Here we go. This 
this digs fast enough through mud, I might also just put the shovel away. Especially because mud often has like the odd stone mixed in with it, like we're seeing here. Oh, it's a nimble pickaxe axe. I don't actually know if that affects how fast it digs through blocks, but I think it at least used to. <laughs> you think nimble and light do help? Okay. friend, the Arapaima. <laughs> Everybody's friend, really. I don't actually have any idea how much chlorophyte ore I need. Helen's friend? Yeah, that sounds more realistic. Yeah, I've been duplicating Chlorophyte for so long when I reach 100 ore. You think it's like 380? Oh boy. thought about like whether it's a good strategy to just leave one ore behind, but I'm not going to. Oh, hey. My fruit, it got void bagged gonna favorite the chlorophyte so I can see how much I have. Yum! Oh wait, wasn't there a skeleton archer banner? Sure. Right, my piggy bank has my moss hornet banner. They made the bars easier to craft. So it's only 270 now, thanks. I believe when they did that, they also made bars give you fewer chlorophyte bullets so that the difficulty of actually acquiring chlorophyte bullets was the same. But yeah, that'll help since I'm uh, not making chlorophyte bullets. Imagine an upgrade to Rod of Discord. That digs a hole in rock and teleports you there. Oh yeah, that would be cool. You could just rod to mine. Yeah? I 
think Calamity Rod actually does have an upgraded Rod of Discord, but it's just like cooldown or something. So I think in Calamity Mod you can bind a hotkey to use Rod of Discord if you have one, instead of needing to actually switch to it. Or maybe that's one of the upgrades features. It might not be doable with just the Rod. Also, you can craft Rod of Discord in Calamity. <laughs> so... Yeah. Hey, there's a life fruit. Speaking of rod, I can get myself ambushed by hornets by teleporting to somewhere I don't have vision of. Yum. trying to think of anything that mines besides the actual pickaxes. There's of course the uh, drill containment unit. There's that one minecart. Um, the mole minecart. That also lays track. Although I think it only lay track if you're using it underground. And it, it's like at a slower speed than just riding a minecart or something. 263 ore. Almost there. Yeah. <laughs> 272. Kind of want to just use the rest of the Splunker potion though, looking for life fruit. Especially since I'm somewhere I seem to have not been before, because there are still life crystals. Wait, that's not even better than what I have, is it? Probably has a decent sale value, though. I guess now I'm getting into places I probably have been. Although, wait, this is lit by spores, not by torches. Yeah, I could be using the rod of discord more. This is somewhere I've been before, but not for a bit. <laughs> Kept failing to land on things that I just wanted to land on the edge of. I mean, there must be a unique death message for teleporting yourself to death, right? Just hang this wherever. Mirror home, then science it? Yeah. Oh, the Splunker just wore off.
<laughs> Legs appeared where his head should be. So you can die to that pretty fast. Chaos state, that's what it's called. I should make sure fiberglass is better than, or is worse than mechanics rod, it is. But it was worth over a gold. Also, I'm still carrying this around. And the blade staff. Uh... Right, armor. <laughs> okay, so... Oh wait, there's no summoner chlorified armor. They added hallowed, but not chlorified. I could make the melee armor just if I want more defense. But yeah, that was just an error on my part. I thought there was a full armor set. <laughs> Whoops. At least we got some life fruit. Deciding what to no longer keep in that chest. I don't need a piggy bank. Why was one in there? I don't know why I'm making an effort to find a space to find or to put clay blocks in. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's fight the twins. I don't have enough souls of light. I'm still falling. <laughs> right, there's a convenient actual spot to land. Right, I died. I teleported myself to death. I guess, yeah, he's worth a lot of money. I should actually kill him. Oh no, the money, it's gonna melt. Nope, caught it. Treasure magnet could have been effective, yeah. Switching accessories mid combat's kind of hard though. And if that boulder trap was one block higher, it would also be a lava trap. died to every single biome mimic I've challenged. Just used my armor evade there. Oh, but it's back. Just tanking everything with the power of hallowed armor. Ow. Need to find a better spot to fight that. <laughs> I 
Whoa. Oh wait, no, it's not dead. <laughs> it, it was in defensive form, wedged up against the wall. It makes a death sound when it dies, I'm pretty sure. Illuminant hook. Well, it's better than dual hook. Anyway, uh, I did get three souls. A thing I can use, wow, yeah. Most of the treasure wouldn't have been any good. If we were to pick a biome mimic to suddenly be able to defeat, Crimson would have probably been the best choice. But for one, I don't have a Crimson Biome. For another, going to a Crimson Biome wouldn't result in getting Souls of Light. Chester's not around right now. Chester? <laughs> okay, gold is stacked. Oh, I wonder... I'd always thought it was weird that he didn't resummon himself after you die. But I wonder if there's something where he, like, doesn't warp. Or something. Kind of like how uh, the Don't Starve boss doesn't despawn when you die. It might be something where you actually like leave Chester behind. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I think actually the buff isn't there, so that means he doesn't exist. That's, yeah. <laughs> The more straightforward way to think about it. Oh. I kind of just stopped paying attention and got a bunch of souls. was to make a, um, the emblem thing, so that I can upgrade my power glove. <laughs> Unless I'm just misremembering all the crafting recipes. So yeah, I want Souls of Sight, is the thing. Because we used a bunch on our summon weapon. I think the thing takes like 15 of each and I only have 11. I could also just be killing twins for no reason if I've forgotten the upgrade tree. I really need to move my guide somewhere, I'll actually visit him. Dusk, buff, summon boss, summon mini boss. Probably shouldn't be attacking both of them at once. Also, I should have probably removed that big wooden platform.
so I don't like get stuck on it and die. Wooden platform is Helen's new best friend. Oh wait, I didn't need to drink that potion. Earlier I was damaged, but then I stopped taking hits for a bit, and I think my regen had almost filled me up. I got the armor dodge there. You ought to almost be in phase two, right? Yes, there you are. I kept whipping that time. What's my oh ten seconds on potion? Uh oh. Barely didn't get far enough away. Oh, he's dead. Okay. my mount button there. Alright, with all the defense we have compared to the first time the twins were beaten though, not too worried about this phase. Be feeling more comfy if I had more of my health remaining. Okay, actually, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, twins are the hardest back boss. Again, then. <laughs> Just trash these mud blocks.
Maybe remove Helen's friend, yeah. Did make movement a little more awkward. At the end there, I was kind of hoping to get around it and like block some lasers with it. But I got caught trying to go around the edge. Also, having this gun will make me more want to fight near the Bast statue instead of trying to avoid that area of, in the arena. That's not. So often I just open up the uh, crafting menu instead of whatever section of the powers menu I want. I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to open something. There's one button here for opening something. Obviously it's the one I hit. Cursed flame there. Hallowed armor. And how did I ever win this fight before? Or did the blade staff somehow perform better than the optic staff? I don't think that was the case. run under. Just used up the armor dodge, but still. Okay. Actually have full health with him going down. I don't know, maybe last time I should have, like, cancelled my summons and made more of an effort to stay on just spasmatism, or no, retinazer phase one, after spasmatism went down. But that would burn a lot of the night just trying to heal, especially if I took a hit or two and, like, had to, like, wait for, like, three whole potion cooldowns or something. Yeah, 
lasers in this game just can't be dodged. <laughs> That's why Gollum is the hardest boss. No, Mo Moon Lord's lasers are clearly harder. Am I gonna die again? I had max health. Okay, no. We're fine. <laughs> Lasers. wrong about what I needed? Or, no, I don't have the chest open. Wait, but I must have. I had so much stuff displaying. What? What is this? Oh, it takes Demonite Bar and Topaz? How long has this item existed? Anyway, uh, oh, right, it could be like a, yeah, I thought it was an anvil recipe. I'm just going to look it up on the wiki. No, not destroyer emblem. It's the Avenger emblem. Make it at a Tinkerer's Workshop. Of course you do, it's an accessory. So I've just been standing near the wrong crafting station this whole time. Yeah, it only takes five of each soul. I was like, oh, it must be 15, because I can't make it. So I didn't need to fight the twins at all. I'm just bad. Imagine not memorizing every single crafting recipe in this game. Um, I needed the practice, yeah. And Helen needed the friend, yeah. Um, I, guess I have the wiki open. What do I need after this? Uh, let's see. So if I click Mechanical Glove, it can be crafted together with a Magma Stone to make a Fire Gauntlet. And that is the end of the crafting tree. If I don't have a Magma Stone somewhere, you get them from Lava Bats and Hell Bats. Okay. But I thought I did have one. Oh yeah, there it is. So we want to get that reforged, of course. Something better than brisk. <laughs> it's called reforge, not forge. <laughs> Menacing, sure. It's like one of the three that I consider in a rough tie for the best. Menacing, warding, and uh, the, the speed one. Quick. Lucky is, as non-summoners, also about as good as menacing. Honestly, it depends on how much of a damage bonus you already have and how much of a crit bonus you already have. Damage tends to be a little better, though, because it modifies the uh, pre-armor damage value. Alright, I should 
light something on fire with my whip to make sure that effect actually works. Maybe I should dismiss my allies? Yes, they are on fire. Oh wait, that's the f cursed flames. Oh, huh. Well, I think melee damage. Does that apply to whips? Maybe I got more knockback? Maybe actually upgrading the glove any further had no point. <laughs> I don't know exactly what bonuses whips benefit from. Clearly it benefits from melee auto swing. Probably also the size bonus. I don't, where am I going? Why am I going? The next main objective. The important thing is I fought the twins two more times. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly I need to fight the twins more in my life because I am absolutely terrible at fighting Retinazer. Anyway, I guess the next step is just more life fruit and look for Plantera Bulb. We did pass time by fighting the twins, so there'll be more stuff down here. Oh, I should resummon my summons, by the way. Hey, okay, life fruit. And plant terrible. Yum. I guess where do I make a Plantera arena? Just trying to put enough torches down to attract attention on the map. Yeah, it's probably good. there's probably where I want to start on the arena because there's already a big-ish open space. Probably want to at least use the rest of this Splunker before I get serious about arena construction though, huh? Only have like eight more Splunker potions. I didn't get the Azor back out. Let's see, Plantera has to be defeated before Tiki armor, right? That sounds right. Wait, wasn't I gonna keep looking for life fruit while I had Splunker active? Let's at least put the campfire back down, get it out of the inventory. I usually go through the marble biome. 
Uh, what's over here? Somewhere I haven't dug. That minecart rail would prevent any life fruit from spawning, wouldn't it? At least directly on the rail. Land right next to a turtle, don't worry, they're safe. Yum. What if I knocked that one free earlier and it just didn't despawn? I think as long as you prevent there from being more than like 50 items on the ground in the world, things just like don't despawn. Maybe 50 is not the limit, maybe more like 100. I looked it up once on the wiki, and then answered a question somebody had about it, and then, uh, forgot the number. Oh wait, you float with slime mounts. I was like, oh, I'll just go down and grab those coins. Guess I could have still just unmounted and grabbed those coins. And silver, but it's free. Ow. Do I Splunker must it? Yeah, it wore off. Building the arena would pass some time for some life fruit to spawn. Or I could just splunker up again and keep looking. Fairly far from where I wanted to build the arena. Let's just keep looking for fruit. Maybe work our way back up there. Try to take a new path through the jungle. Life fruit. <laughs> ah, wood bag, life fruit. Yum. A wall of metal. Sure. Oh, the crystal. The thing I was actually trying to aim for.
does seem to be pure mud around here. Just trying to reach any part of the jungle I haven't been in recently. What? Damaged me. Oh, there was something shooting down the whole hallway, huh? huh. Definitely more minion slots than I actually have. Whoopee cushion. For free. <laughs> Not that there's a way to pay for one. Oh, hey, life fruit. You know, should maybe dealt with some inventory stuff after I died. Ah, yes, I love when all my minions are stuck somewhere. Also, I didn't realize there was enough of a gap underneath that wood wall for the tortoise to get through. Hmm. Decided not to worry about the gold. So it occurs to me I should have gotten some dynamite and made it sticky, possibly. this out and build some NPC housing, which I believe is Brian's favorite way to reduce spawns of enemies while building the uh, Planterra Arena. I can also go grab a peace candle. Yeah. <laughs> Great minds, yeah. I'm pretty sure with stream delay being what it normally is, you typed that before I said it. I just have two NPCs that are ready to move in that haven't moved in. Steampunker is one of them. So is this big enough? Eh, probably. You don't need very much space.
I'd like both ends of this to actually be openable. Alright, some player placed walls to finish it off. Suitability. Yep. Could just move the guide in. It's not like it's a worse spot than he's at now. I might even move the jungle pylon down here. Make it daytime. I guess I'll follow the fairy, but it's probably just gonna point me to like some chest I partially looted. It just feels wrong not to. Boomstick. <laughs> I guess I'm not even that far from the surface, am I? Eh, moderately far. I was deciding whether I want to go get a peace candle now or just the next time I leave the jungle. Those candles definitely helped me take out the mech bosses, though. Yeah, I could also get dynamite. Maybe that makes it worth leaving now. Although right now I'm digging out chlorophyte, which would get in the way even if I am using dynamite. I have a demolitionist right now. <laughs> I think right there is one. Yeah, that's where he is. Yeah, let's leave for peace candles and dynamite after I remove this cobalt door. bag. I don't think I have anything I still care about that's derived from a whoopee cushion. Just gonna sell it. Steampunker arrived. plain bunnies do I have? 97, huh? <laughs> oh, you are selling a cavern pylon. Why did I never buy one? Couple stacks of dynamite.
That's a hallowed torch. Okay. Are you a hallowed torch? Yes. Probably once I see one that's actually a piece. Oh yeah, that's clearly different. <laughs> so there was one right in the middle of those first two torches that I just like skipped right over. Wait, I probably want more than one of these to cover the whole arena. Well, Plantera Arena usually isn't very big for me because you have to dig it out. Still, let's grab like four of these to make sure we have good coverage. Shouldn't be needed in this arena again. I think that arena's done being used. I did have two things that could arrive. Things? People? <laughs> People are not objects? Although in a video game they kind of are. Especially if it's written in Java. <laughs> Which I don't think Terraria is, just... naming an arbitrary object-oriented language. Right, dynamite. Shouldn't need to use either of those right now. We'll make one stack of dynamite sticky. Terraria and Hero Spirit are both C-sharp, you believe? That sounds incredibly plausible. First time viewer, chat's saying, may I please join? No, you may not. I'm gonna, yeah, I blew myself up a little there. These candles work better when you place them, by the way. Probably doing well horizontally, but could use more vertical space. Like to not have to worry about Plantera's bouncing things. It's 
So I like to have a lot of empty space at the bottom of the arena. Oh, hey. <laughs> a life fruit. Yum. <laughs> Whatever, it's not like I'm running low on gel. I don't mind making a few more of these sticky than I needed. Turned to stone and killed. Ah yes, blasting out a bunch of mud results in having a lot of mud. Just gonna place a new chest to deposit things into. Where are my platforms? There they are. Favorite the peace candles. I must have a complete stack of jungle spores somewhere. Hmm. Might as well hold on to this stuff, I guess. I want the campfire. Hmm. Grab some fire blossom. Some, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, actually, maybe I should do Old One's Army. <laughs> Just thinking of that from that accidental summon, it would be a leveled up version because I beat a mech boss. Could get a better optic staff, or not optic staff, a ballista rod. Bleh. Also could get those accessories that let you have more sentries out. I think tier two has. When does tier 3 start? Is it post Golem? If I want to do Old One's Army at all, I probably don't want to try skipping from tier 1 to tier 3. Oh yeah, Medusa got me last time. For a second I was just like, what did I die to?
thing about using explosives instead of just a pick is you destroy a lot of the background wall, so it's harder to hang things, like lighting. One of these slightly lower than the house. No, oh, I already was in that mode. to that one. Probably because I had my armor dodge and a lot of health and stuff. Oh. Didn't I have a banner for one of them? Oh, I deposit all it, didn't I? Got myself with some silt. I'm still under the effect of the peace candle down here. Still, might as well place like one there and one at the other side. Any more platforms? Under the effect of a heart lantern down here. I should have brought the Bast statue. Meanwhile, I became a statue. I'm not too worried about the fact that I'm dealing non-summon damage with the explosives. It's just something that'll happen. It's not like I'm killing enemies I haven't killed before, though. Wouldn't have wanted to, like, do it at the start of the playthrough for bestiary entries. <laughs> that would just clearly be cheating. Yeah, 
Okay, grab um, Best Statue and Heart Lanterns is the actual things. Checking that campfire coverage right now. This Medusas are kind of bothersome. Feels like every single time I build a Plantera arena, it's near a marble biome. <laughs> Maybe I just build them large enough, it's hard to avoid. Also grab the uh Ewitching table from the previous arena. up top. Uh, right, heart lanterns. <laughs> Let's go home and just craft more. I have 23 life crystals stashed away. Chains. Make more chains. Alright, that should be enough lanterns for the rest of the run, right? 23 of them. Actually gonna block off this direction because I keep going this way while trying to get back to the arena and if I go that way while well, the boss is spawned that could be bad oh yeah it's dropped free money Both ways lead there, but I'm gonna just wall off this way. That's not a heart lantern. Some mild concerns about the width of the arena. I said it was good earlier, but I feel like it's one of those cases where the wider the better. Alright, 
one more life fruit, please. I might also want to place more background walls just to be able to place more torches. It might be good to be able to see during the battle. Yeah, maybe I should have made a better light pet, like, several hours ago. Still got my shadow orb. Traveling merchants arrived. Ah, oh, there's a life fruit. Yum. Reached true max HP without having a buff. Life, pet, life pets in this game all kind of suck, yeah. But there are definitely degrees of suck. I guess, yeah, though, uh, having a better light pet wouldn't be like, oh yeah, now I have enough light for the boss fight suddenly. And if you still need to place the torches, then what's the point? Shine potions are the true light pets? You're not wrong. I just tend to forget about them. Actually, I want to blast more out here before. Diamond gem spark walls are the true light pets. Now, I think the key part of a light pet is that it's portable. I guess though, do I have any shine potions? I have seven of them. Last 10 minutes. Maybe I should save those for like Moon Lord though. Oh, I got turned to stone. Just stone overbuff, only 22 slots or whatever, yeah. Um, how many buffs am I holding? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and I might get poisoned or something. Actually, does Plantera inflict poison? Does Plantera have any debuffs? So yeah, assuming it's, yeah, it's 11 per row. So yeah, I had enough slots, even if I add in shine. Any honey nearby? No. It was, what was I gonna do? Background walls, I came up here to make more walls. darker than it is. Maybe I was inflicted with blindness last time I was looking over the arena. Oh, stone again. <laughs> Pretty sure Plantera will prevent any Medusas from spawning though. So I don't need to like go kill the whole marble biome.
let's let's try it. And I guess I won't take a shine potion out. The arena actually seemed pretty bright. Dying to Plantera hype? Yeah. Then gotta find a whole new bulb. I'm definitely worried about phase two. Spawn directly below, huh? Buff up. Summon an extra summon. Oh, there's a little... Maybe not drag Plantera directly through the NPCs. Uh, let's actually just kill off the NPCs. That's that's fine. We're not building the arena anymore. Wait, do those have homing? Like, slightly? Yeah. Also, yeah, do you want to come down a little? Okay. Got Plantera in the loop. Phase one is beaten. to the right. Did Plantera get faster? I guess now, but... Flames are actually far better here than Icor. stuck on the top there, but we're doing fine. Most of the extras, whatever they're called, Plantera, I can't mouse over them effectively. Uh, let's just keep... Oh no. Okay, the main body deals a lot of damage.
All right. Didn't die to Plantera. Yeah, so much for your hype. You got hyped for nothing. I'm good at Plantera. Thornhook? Venus Magnum? Oh yeah, the Spore Sack. Uh, equip it over what though? Chester can just yeah, you take all of these things. So don't I have a massive stack of heart lanterns? Oh, I probably void bag them. Why did I dash away from where Chester used to be? As if that would help. He does in fact follow. Now I probably want to visit the uh, witch doctor. Oh, the metal detector? Oh yeah, now that the NPCs are gone. <laughs> Bit of a farming spot was created in the jungle. They'll respawn though. Yeah, tiki armor, that's expensive. Hercules beetle. Does that combine with the necklace or with the necromantic scroll, I think it's called? I probably want one. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have this Venus Magnum and this Luminant Hook. I have a metal detector somewhere, right? I'm just gonna sell this one. I don't think there's anything I want to use a metal detector on anymore anyway. Okay, so 60 defense to... 68. Oh, it actually has more defense. But you lose out on a highly defensive passive ability. Oh, a lot of my minions are stuck there. It's like, it feels like I have fewer than before. Okay, so the set bonus apparently increases my number of max minions. I don't know by how many. <laughs> like probably it, one, could be two. Almost certainly not three. Okay, 30% minion damage across the set. Right, this didn't have very much damage bonus at all for minions. Uh. I guess I didn't check. Is there a chlorophyte whip? Probably not. I would probably remember if there was. Nah, okay. <laughs> Gathered all that chlorophyte, was just hoping it had a use. Okay, but wait, keep the, the key. I, oh yeah, I was gonna check on the beetle. Um, just making sure. Worm crawling in house? Maybe it was from before. I don't I don't see a worm. Might have crawled out too. Let's 
see. It definitely doesn't seem to be mixing with the pygmy necklace. Although, that's damage and knockback. Is 15% damage worth more than one slot? Well, it depends on how many slots you have. 15% uh, is about one-seventh. Now it's on anvil. The worm is? Oh, visiting nurse. Okay. Thanks. Somehow I missed that when I was just swinging wildly. Um, so let's see. How many minion slots do I have? There's the one base one. There's three here. That's four. The set bonus. That's either five or six, probably. And then if I'm unequipping the pygmy necklace to put the Hercules beetle on, that doesn't count anymore. So it seems like if I wore them together, that would make sense, but wearing them separately, or just exchanging it, doesn't. I think I'd need like one or two more minion slots. Oh yeah, that specifically says the damage of your minions. Also, if it stacks additively with my existing damage bonus, then that's even worse. Uh, but it doesn't say summon damage. It might actually multiply with your summon damage. I don't know. Probably stacks additively. What's third accessory from the bottom? My wings. Yeah, dev set. Yeah, I'm also not used to seeing it. I was confused earlier in the the session. And I kind of also just want the spore sack. <laughs> was thinking it would be funny if after all that effort to get the fire gauntlet, I just like was like, oh, boop. <laughs> <sighs> Or sack over worm scarf? I think I'm definitely not using the balloon anymore. I think the dev wings solved the mobility. I mean, it'll be good to have the beetle for when I get the, the scroll. Which actually, wait. Suddenly can't remember if the dungeon leveling up is post Golem or post Plantera. So do I have time to go through the temple now? Usually if you can beat Plantera, you're ready for Golem. So could just try to go and do that. And then work out, like, how to get spooky wood. But Golem has lasers? You're right. I have, like, died to phase two of Golem when the head is just moving around and shooting lasers. Still, usually going through the temple gets you like six of the summoning item or something, so if you die, you can just retry. I mean, you have to go through again, but that's not a big deal. Better than having to find another Plantera bulb. Which fortunately, we didn't need to do. Is Plantera's objectively easier than the twins, provided you're equipped with the things you'd expect to be equipped with at each respective boss. Route a Discord upgrade idea. 
What I, what idea did you have? Wait, it's already in cut mode. I just need to add colors to it. Also, Chester, you're being a pest. Go straight down to destination. Oh, yeah. With your earlier idea. If the Rod of Discord could dig. I have one last flask of Cursed Flames, but I think I can make more. It's just I didn't. Chester got stuck. Skip first chest? Oh yeah, it is up there. I'll go back for it. Although I did already get a power cell. I guess being a summoner and having summoner amounts of defense, even Golem's lasers are pretty spooky. Plus it's master mode. You know. Oh yeah, we've been getting relics. I was about to like verify that it was still master mode. How much damage do wood spikes do? 23. I mean, your defense affects wooden spikes, and I think spikes, I think, are one of the things in the game that don't scale with difficulty, even though the power of defense does. So they actually hurt less on high difficulties. It's like spikes and lava are the two things. Although, Lava kind of makes it back on the debuff duration thing. You spend so much time on fire. Oh yeah, summoner armor's not quite enough to ignore them. Well, I only know that because we tested it. I actually expected to take more. It was a good thing to check at any rate. Wait, why am I, like, sticking around until I can find time to remove spikes from the wall on the right? I don't care that that wall has spikes. I should, however, loot this chest. Um, favorite the power cells, void bag the rest. Oh, I should have probably also just favorited the chests. Rather than mining out every spike, we place some wood down. All right. Now that's kind of awkward. If I knew where more plantera bulbs were, it might have been worth considering trying to farm the, what, pygmy something? Staff? Whatever plantera's summon is that you used to actually need to get before you could buy the tiki armor. 
and the uh, the pygmy necklace. I think you also needed to have that staff in your inventory before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. You know, pygmy necklace. This is a pretty hard mode accessory. <laughs> Definitely reasons I didn't do a summoner playthrough for quite a while. It like, wasn't even a real class, pretty much. the slime statue back in the day and you liked it? I only get really rare items on accident. Imagine if there was a Chaos Elemental statue. But there are no statues for post-hard mode enemies, I'm pretty sure. Also, they'd probably make it so it couldn't drop the rod. <laughs> I know statue spawned enemies have different drop rates and things. I wanted to hold on to the chest just because I'm likely to get more. And didn't I get a banner? Where's that? There it is. Spear trap wasn't disarmed. 34 gold? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, it's almost noon, but I think I'm going back in to retrieve the money. After I deal with some inventory. Lizard eggs. Huh. Uh, 
All right. Sounds like back to Zelda Tracker for you then. Thanks for streaming. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm just gonna go back and try to get the money. And then, I guess since it'll be afternoon and you won't even be around, I won't challenge Golem. Might prep the arena a little. Oh wait, I want the banner. Oh, traveling merchant. What do you have? Uh, cement mixer. Master Gamer. PS meter, code 2, Celestial Magnet. Celestial Magnet would be cool if I was a mage. Oh, I forgot to say thanks for watching. If you're still around. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Sort of. Another nature's gift. faster to go through when the spikes are mined out in the places you want them mined out and most of the traps are disabled. And you're not looting treasure chests because you did before. Alright, here's where I died. So that was 13 gold. There's probably an enemy around that has a bunch of gold, though. To make sure your Chester is out. And at least deposit what I picked up so far. You are like glowing as if you have money on you. Yep. No! <laughs> uh, wanted to hang my banner up there. Oh well, I retrieved the money, I deposited it, dropped less than a gold there. That'll be it for the stream. In the next part, we'll conquer the temple for sure. At least it better not take me three hours to kill Golem given nine attempts. Apparently the main problem is just reaching Golem's chamber. 
But uh, yeah, see ya.